Kroiso no. Welcome back to my Welsh history series. Going forward with When Was Wales by Gwyn Williams. It opens up the first pages is a poem, Welsh history by R.S. Thomas. And this is very apt that he put this in here at the very beginning. Because it's a poem that whilst I'm not a fan of poetry that doesn't rhyme myself, but I make exception every once in a long while for a poem that's unorthodox. And this is one of those. I don't like to be too praising of poetry that does not rhyme, but this is quite good. It really digs into the bones of Welsh history and the bitter feeling that really runs through the concept that I was getting in, in my introduction to this series and that Welsh history is a constant crisis of ruptures and a bitter acidic soil. So this poem encapsulates that long stretch that is Welsh history quite well. And here it is. Welsh history by R.S. Thomas. Welsh history. We were a people tout for war. The hills were no harder. The thin grass clothed them more warmly than the coarse shirts our small bones. We fought and were always in retreat, like snow thawing upon the slopes of Money the Maur. And yet the stranger never found our ultimate stand in the thick woods, declaiming verse to the sharp prompting of the harp. Our kings died or they were slain by the old treachery at the ford. Our bards perished, driven from the halls of nobles by the thorn and the bramble. We were a people bred on legends, warming our hands at the red past. The great were ashamed of our loose rags clinging stubbornly to the proud tree of blood and birth. Our lean bellies and mud houses were a proof of our ineptitude for life. We were a people wasting ourselves in fruitless battles for our masters in lands to which we had no claim, with men for whom we felt no hatred. We were a people, and are so yet. When we have finished quarreling for crumbs, under the table, or gnawing the bones of a dead culture, we will arise, armed, but not in the old way. And what was that old way of the Welsh people? Let's go into the prologue and the beginning of the story of Wales, the people and the land. And that's where we begin next time. Wolf Hour. If you've made it this far, please consider joining me on Patreon on the screen now. Thank you very much to each and every one of you who do contribute. You are making this possible.